Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. An eighth grader from the South Side is going to compete in the Scripps National Spelling Bee. We first told you about her after she dominated the Chicago Public Schools citywide tournament. Now Morning Insider Tim McNicholas is learning how she spells success. And I just noticed those medals behind you. What are, what are those? Um, these are all the medals um, I got from my school. 13-year-old Daniela Doe has earned a lot of hardware, but she won her biggest trophy last month from the citywide spelling bee after 15 rounds of tough competition. Once I won, it's like time stop. It was completely, I, I couldn't describe, I can't describe it right now. Z, O. She made her teachers and classmates from Amelia Earhart Elementary now. proud as she oh, nailed the so word Zocalo uh, to win it all. Zocalo. <laughs> <laughs> Even more proud was her mother, who moved to the U.S. from Ghana in the 90s with dreams of a brighter future. I, I, I'm so happy, you know, to, you know, come to here as, um, you know, immigrants, and now it takes us to this far. Correct. Thank you. Now Danielle's got her eyes on an even bigger prize, the famed Scripps National Spelling Bee. After her success in Chicago, she will now compete for the Scripps title, starting with preliminaries in June. To get to this point in, in a pandemic, I know a lot of kids have had kind of a lot taken from them over the past year, whether it's sports or, or other extracurricular activities. Does that kind of make it that much more important? It really means a lot to um, my family, my classmates, my teachers, that even though the world is struggling right now, um, there's still a little light that can shine on um, us. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. Well, I love what she just said. The first rounds of the national competition will be virtual. 10 to 12 students moving into the finals in Orlando in July, and she is hoping to earn her family a trip to Florida. She's like, I'm going to do this. <laughs> and hopefully her family can be there to cheer her on. I'm sure they all want that to happen. Yeah, that would be cool if like travel allows for it and the competition allows for it. They could safely go. Congrats to her.